Large crowd packed the House tonight to hear how President Trump's time in office will affect them. Congressman Bobby Scott held his town hall tonight in Chesapeake. About 200 people showed up to ask him questions, also to lay out their concerns. Chinoo Her was there, and the congressman was hit with a wide range of questions. Well, that's right, guys. Congressman Bobby Scott got all different questions, from health care to tensions with Syria and North Korea and to veteran issues. Side by side, people packed the Indian River Community Center in Chesapeake. They came with questions for Congressman Bobby Scott as he hosted his town hall. I want to hear the pulse of what we're hearing out in, uh, on the news today and let them know that, wow, I feel about it and to make sure that our issues are being concerned. In front of his constituents, the congressman talked about impacts the president's proposed budget could have locally, such as cuts to education, to delaying progress with the Chesapeake Bay. Of course, hearing about the cuts didn't sit well with most people. Sailing back uh, on education, the environment, the fact that they want to zero out support for the cleaning up the Chesapeake Bay, uh, immigration, uh, the Muslim ban, there are a lot of problems with this um, administration. So the topic of health care especially made the crowd uneasy. Before we can improve it, we have to fight to make sure we don't go backwards. Uh, the, if you look at the replacement plan, it was worse on every measure. 24 million more people uninsured, you pay a higher price, and the insurance you get is worse. What's going on in D.C. now is a concern, and we need to be involved. Congressman Scott made sure the crowd understood he backed the Affordable Care Act, saying the latest repeal was demonstratively worse than the ACA, and he's not willing to go halfway on a repeal. Instead of 24 million people, let's just make 12 million people uninsured. Let's work together. Can't we all get along? No. If you want, if you're going backwards, we're not going to help. Now, more than a dozen people took to the mic to ask the congressman questions. A few asked about Syria and North Korea, one asking if he's willing to commit to voting against a war because he did vote against the Iraq war. Congressman Scott says at this time he cannot commit to that until he sees how things develop. Now, we asked Bobby Scott his thoughts on the town hall tonight. He said overall he was impressed with the turnout and the questions people asked him. Chinuhart, 13 News Now.